We all think we know that our lives wouldn't be possible without trees. As a 2011 Nature Report detailed, sudden declines in trees would lead to the failure of crops, virtually unbreathable air, and the collapse of ecosystems. That's not to mention the dozens of everyday products that would vanish. But researchers working with the U.S. Forest Service and other agencies are trying to bring that reality home in more urgent terms. They want to detail how the decline of trees harms human health not just in hypotheticals, but in immediate and measurable ways. Several studies have suggested that tree-filled settings can reduce stress or boost mental health. Now new research is going further. Late last month, the Forest Service unveiled a model suggesting that in pollution removal alone, trees save 850 U.S. lives a year and prevent 670,000 cases of acute respiratory problems. The study, published in the journal Environmental Pollution, looks at four key air pollutants and values their removal by trees at about $7 billion. And that isn't even the starkest link the Forest Service has made between trees and human health. In a 2013 study in the American Journal of Preventative Medicine, researchers traced the rise of the emerald ash borer in Michigan as it spread across the state's borders. The bugs have killed more than 100 million ash trees since 2002. But the Forest Service saw something else in the data. They looked at human mortality rates by county, and after reviewing 1,296 counties spread over 15 states, they found that the areas most affected by tree deaths also saw spikes in cardiovascular and lower respiratory tract illness. While the research is only starting to establish these links, one timely takeaway is the importance of urban forests. Trees cover more than a third of the United States, but that figure varies sharply in different urban areas. Washington, D.C. reports 36% tree canopy versus 24% in New York City. As the Environmental Pollution Study notes, with 80% of the U.S. population in urban areas, local forests can have a demonstrable impact even if they remove less than 1% of pollution from the air.